Okay, let's work on improving your algebra skills by solving this equation. So in algebra, you deal with all sorts of equations, and the first step to solving any equation is to identify what type of equation we are dealing with. So what are we dealing with here? If you know the answer to that, go ahead and put your uh, answer into the comment section. You don't have to, matter of fact, if you want to put your actual solution to this problem into the comment section, that would be excellent as well. But again, in algebra, you deal with all sorts of equations. Now, I'm not telling you right now what type of equations this is. Maybe you can kind of peek at the description of this video and be like, oh, okay, I know what it is. But if you saw something like this, you have to be able to identify, oh, this is this type of equation. So that's the first step in solving anything. And then the second step is actually solving it by um, applying the various techniques and procedures uh, procedures to solve that type of equation. Of course, I'm going to go through all of this step by step in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've come to the absolute conclusion that all students can be successful in mathematics, but it requires two things. One, you got to be willing to do the work. So if you are not working hard enough and you're failing math, well, that's your first problem. you got to work hard okay, at anything that you want to be good at. The second thing you need is great math instruction, clear and understandable, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, and you need assistance in mathematics, I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. By the way, if you happen to be preparing for any sort of test with a math section, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, I can help you out. If you homeschool, I have great homeschool math courses that can definitely help you out. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? Well, this happens to be an absolute value equation, okay? Something you're definitely going to run into if you're taking any sort of um, algebra course. And these little bars right here indicate that this is what we call an absolute value function. That's a big topic in algebra. You, gotta, you need to know the definition of uh, absolute value. You have to know how to graph, graph absolute value functions, deal with absolute value equalities. But this is uh, going to be an absolute value equation that we're going to solve. So let's get to it now. And let's start off with a nice basic problem. Okay, so here we have the absolute value of x is equal to 3. So what is the solution to this problem? Now, just stop and think about it for a second. I'm asking you the absolute value of some number is 3. Okay. So what are those numbers? Okay, is there one answer or two answers? Well, there happens to be two solutions here. Okay, so if you said, well, the absolute value of three, if we took the absolute value of three, what's the answer? Well, it would be three. Okay, so we know x. If we replace that x with a three, yeah, uh, that would be a solution to this equation, right? So x is whatever value such that when I replace that x with a number, so I replace that x with a 3, and took the absolute value of 3, the answer would be 3, um, as is indicated by this equation right here. But there's another number that works as well, and that's the absolute value of negative 3. If I took the absolute value of negative 3, the answer is also 3. So this x right here must be equal to 3 or negative 3. Both of these are a solution to this absolute value equation. So when you're dealing with absolute value equations, you're always going to have two solutions. But let's go ahead and quickly review what the absolute value, uh, what it means. The definition of absolute value is the distance a number is from zero on a number line. So here is a nice little number line. Here is zero. So here is three and here is negative three. If I said, what's the difference, distance between or from zero to three, I'm talking about this distance right here. Well, that would, could be, let's say three units away, okay? Or what's the distance between zero and negative three? Well, that's also three units away. Remember, distance is always measured in positive um, values, okay? Displacement, distance, et cetera. So that is uh, the definition of absolute value, but it kind of ties all this in uh, just so we can kind of, you know, um, keep reviewing the larger big ideas behind absolute value function. Okay, so there you go. Um, uh, this is a nice, lovely example uh, of absolute value equation. Now I'm going to show you how we actually solve something more interesting like our problem right here. 
Okay, so here we have the absolute value of x plus 7 is equal to 10, okay? Now, let's just forget this x plus 7 stuff right here real quick. Let's say I had the absolute value of something is equal to 10, okay? So the absolute value of something is equal to 10. Well, the only way I can get a 10 right here is if I plug in a negative 10 or a positive 10. Okay, that's the only way, if I took the absolute value of this negative 10 or a positive 10, the only way I can get this answer is that whatever I plug in inside this absolute value function must be a negative 10 or a positive 10, meaning that this x plus 7 is kind of uh, in disguise here. It's saying it's, a, it's either a negative 10 or a 10, but we know that x plus 7, you're like, yeah, I know what you are. You're either a negative 10 or a 10. So to solve for x here... We're going to set x plus 7 equal to 10. Okay, we're saying, okay, x plus 7, you either are equal to 10, or x plus 7, you're either equal to negative 10. And this is the setup, okay? Now, there are other more um, interesting absolute value equations that you're going to have to practice. For example, let me just show you. If I had 2 absolute value of x minus 1 plus 3 is equal to 9, there's a few things here you have to do before you do this part of the problem. You have to isolate this absolute value function part right there. So it's kind of like solving an equation for this. I have additional videos on absolute value equations in my YouTube videos. Of course, if you really want to learn all this stuff, you want to check out uh, my full algebra courses in my math help program. By the way, if you need a pair of math help, uh, notes, algebra notes or algebra two notes or whatnot, I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video as well. But let's get back to the problem. So here we have x plus 7 is equal to 10, and x plus 7 is equal to negative 10. Now we just simply solve for x. Super easy. You can see the work here. Uh, so I get x is equal to 3, or x is equal to negative 17. Again, these are our two solutions. When you're dealing with absolute value equations, you will always have two solutions. So, um, you know, in algebra, you just don't want to memorize things by, like, kind of rote, you know, memorization. Like, okay, when I see this, I do this you know, kind of like robotic, you know, kind of, you know, not thinking, just trying to like remember, you know, like, oh, when I see this, I do this, but not really understanding what's going on. That's not the way to learn math. What you want to do is synthesize this material, like comprehend what's going on. Okay. So that way, when you really see it, you have a command of it. And that's how you're going to really, really do well in uh, mathematics. So hopefully this video helps you out. And if that is the case, again, don't uh, forget to like and subscribe that because that definitely definitely helps me out and uh, one last you know reminder if you need more help on absolute value or anything else I break up my um, on my YouTube channel I have various playlists so you'll see pre-algebra algebra 1 algebra 2 pre-calculus etc so check that out I have a ton of videos I have over a thousand plus videos on my YouTube channel but again if you're taking any sort of uh, you know uh, specific math course like Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, um, College Algebra, Introductory Algebra. I have a ton of math courses in my Math Help program that you can check out as well. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.